Good morning. We will be back in Linda's lounge room soon. But first, we are heading to Chef Marco's kitchen via Zoom. Chef Marco is from Marco's on Niagara, of course, and he's been involved in an amazing initiative called Stock the Freezer. Now, Galvani Cheese, which is a local company, they donated 5,000 pounds of ricotta to Stock the Freezer. And I think they had some left over because, uh, well, Chef Marco got cooking with it. Take a look at this. It is time for a virtual cooking lesson. Welcome via Zoom to the kitchen of Chef Marco from Marco's on Niagara. Hey, Chef. Hey, okay, now we're going to be making yogurt from scratch. So we're going to use two cups of ricotta cheese. We're going to use two and a quarter cups of flour. We're going to add a little bit of salt, Italian baptism water, the olive oil. When you do the egg, I want you to break it into another bowl. And actually whip it up first. Why is that? that? But if you whip it in advance, it's nice and creamy. You don't have to fight the yolk and you don't have to fight the white. And then what you're going to start to do is you're going to start to turn the dough into a nice product like this. You want to add a little more flour to it. Put it on the cutting board and I knead the dough just like you would do a regular pizza dough or a bread dough. And you want to just use the palm of your hand where you fold over the dough and you kind of incorporate the flour into the dough making it nice and velvety and smooth. I'm gonna cut it into strips. And then what these are gonna do is we're gonna roll these out on a little more flour. And then we're gonna square off our, our gnocchi rolls about one by one. And this is gonna give us our right proportion. Now, I have a gnocchi board at home. I think everybody should have a gnocchi board at home. I actually, surprise, surprise, don't have a gnocchi board. How do you not have a gnocchi board? <laughs> I know, right? A little tip, if you wanna just roll it into a ball, gives you a little easier. You press it into the fork and then you roll it with your thumb. And that gives you a little pocket and the flavor saver lines on the backside. I prefer the gnocchi board, but we make these three or four times a week at the restaurant. And what's nice about it is you can make these in advance, put them on a cooking sheet, a little bit of dust of flour, throw it in the freezer. You take them out, you break them up, and you put them into a Ziploc bag. So whenever you want to have gnocchi, you bring a pot of water to a boil, Within a minute and a half, two minutes, it's done. But how long does it last in the freezer if you're freezing it? In an Italian household, it doesn't last very long. But I would say maybe three months-ish. So I have a plate of it already made. You see, I have very light flour on it. But I have a rapid oil on my stove. Once it goes in, I'm just going to give it a little a light stir. And let it come to a boil. It cooks very quickly. So we don't want to overcook it. So while this is cooking, I'm going to start our sauce. So I have a pan here. I got it on a medium-low heat a little more Italian baptism water. I like a nice high quality olive oil. Just gives it a nice depth. We're gonna add some cherry tomatoes to this. We're gonna add fresh chopped garlic. Done. So I'm just letting the garlic and the tomatoes cook in the olive oil while our gnocchi is boiling. Once they float, they're done. You wanna take them off. So here's the one trick. When I take them out of the water, I'm gonna take the water with me. That's a trick that we use in the restaurant. It just creates a beautiful sauce. I'm gonna add a little Parmesan cheese. Oh I showed you my little herb garden over here. That's a very cool little thing to have. I have some chefinade of fresh basil. Toss it around for just a second. You don't wanna overcook it. Now, I'm sorry oh. that we have to do this via Zoom. Oh. <laughs> oh, end this quarantine now. <laughs> Let the kids get in the kitchen. Let them get flour all over their face. Enjoy the quarantine. Enjoy the time that you have with your family. Put something fresh on your table tonight. This is so simple. Freeze it, make it, eat it, enjoy it.